we have every Wednesday. Um, Mark is always a very inspirational speaker, and I love that analogy of the two, one degree off, the razor's edge, right? It's the razor's edge that makes us so brace, that take us over the top and take us to the next level. Living the dream is our theme today. Um, that can mean something to everybody, it's something different to everybody. My dream is going to be different than everybody else's dream here. Your dream is going to be different than everybody else's dream here. It's about living the dream that we want. And are we going to risk our fear, risk exposing ourselves to the fear to live the dream? Last week, I missed, I missed you guys. I spent the week with my son and his all-star team. And we were living the dream. We'd spent all spring in baseball. They won their league. They undefeated. They won their inner city league undefeated. They lost one game in their district playoffs, but beat everybody. So they won their district. They won their sections undefeated. So we were now into the Northern California regional section, our uh, regional tournaments last week, driving every day to and from Fremont. Literally, I was, I was, I'm team mom, so I picked up boys, I dropped them off 10 hours a day, focused on baseball. We'd leave in the early afternoon and not go until 11 o'clock at night every day. So I was a little, I just didn't know how to fit that in this week, or last week. They lost their final game on Friday, they competed, they were in the loser's bracket, they came back, they won every game by more than five runs. Sometimes they won the last second to last game 16 to 1. They were amazing. They played, they were living their baseball dream. These children were just amazing. And look, for most of them, it I called it their sandlot year. It's gonna be the last time those kids who have been playing baseball off and on for 10 years were gonna be playing baseball again together. After that moment, after that game on Friday, they're all going their separate ways. They're going to different high schools, some aren't going to play baseball anymore. It just, it was an amazing experience to, to be involved with. I was living the dream to be able to drive them, be with them, hear their stories, be part of their eating Jamba Juice before we had a game, hitting Carl Jr. after the game. It was just a great experience. Um, so I want to encourage you guys to think about what living the dream is um, today. And, and carry it with you for the next week. Risk overcoming the fear. Risk what you think might happen for what you trade that for what you think can happen. Because we can never, ever, ever, we can always measure what we might lose, but we can never, ever measure what we're going to gain. So I say risk, risk it for your dream. That being said, uh, thank you all for being here, and we are going to go straight into Saskia. Donovan, she is going to be sharing with us her icebreaker speech, and it is going to be called, it's called her long term. So, Saskia, would you? Oh, the old timers. We do, our timer is not, uh, Tuan was our timer, was our timer, and I'm sorry, we do need a timer for today. Someone? Leah, you can do it. You did it. You did it before. I know you did. Good job. Thank you. And would you go ahead and when you get back there, um, I believe Saskia, your speech is five to seven, four to six, four to six. Okay. So at. Thank you. And Pam is not here. 
here to be evaluator one. Do we have an, uh, someone who can take on an evaluator role? Mark? Thank you. Okay. Uh, the general evaluator. Oh, Jeff, was the general evaluator. Mark? Oh. Uh, we need a general evaluator role. Is that everyone, though? No, you need a some person. Okay, that would be great. Thank you. Oh, direct person. Okay. And I'm sorry. Your name is Lewis. Lewis, thank you. All right, now that we got that squared away, Saskia, would you mind coming up and sharing your 